is in this place already. Hallelujah. This has been a day of intercession. This staff has been caught up in it. Hallelujah. We've been called up in intercession today. How many of you are ready for revival? How many of you are ready for awakening? How many of you have a hope that God is about to move tonight? Come on. Open up your mouth and give God praise if you believe this Wednesday night is for him. Hallelujah. Every agenda is for him. Come on. Give me some musicians in place right now. Hallelujah. I need musicians to get in place right now. Come on, let's bless the Lord together. 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 Come on, y'all. Our staff has been wrecked all day long. We've been interceding. How many of you can say we're not going to be denied? Hallelujah. How many of you are hungry for God to move in a greater way? Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is literally a cocoon over this church, and we are trapped in the glory of the Lord. Demons are fleeing. Devils are being resisted, and they are running out. Addiction breaks. Hallelujah. Jezebel goes. Hallelujah, every scheme of the enemy is defeated. And the mighty ones of God are arising. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a mighty praise. I said give the Lord a mighty praise. Give the Lord a mighty praise. Give the Lord a mighty praise. Come on, I want to hear young people magnifying right now I want to hear some moms and dads magnifying right now hallelujah hallelujah your breakthrough is locked up in your praise your breakthrough is locked up in your press your breakthrough is locked up in your worship come on Judah hallelujah hallelujah come on Judah Y'all, I'm going to turn the worship team loose in just a moment. But there's a praise that's not on the screen. There's a praise that's not on the screen. Ah. I want you to lift up a song. Lift up a shout. Hallelujah. If you don't know what key you're in. It don't matter, praise the Lord. Shout out of our sea, open up your mouth. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody that can share this on your stream right now. If you're watching, on live stream, share it. And let's have revival with America right now. Let's have revival with the world right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, I bless your name. Come on, John, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah.
something just a moment ago he said there's a praise that's not on the screen so I'm gonna give you a moment to release that praise come on something that hasn't been rehearsed
give him praise. We 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 give him praise. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Just your voices, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship 
Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, your rich in great and your heart is kind for all your goodness I will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the Lord oh my soul Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my
Just getting started. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. <laughs> he has Just getting started. and you're still believing for a miracle, I want you to lift your hands all over this room. And Lord, we declare our faith is great. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare your name is greater than any situation, any sickness, any struggle. Oh, I said our, our God is greater. We declare it done in the mighty name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, everybody healed. Everybody healed, every mind healed, every life restored. Prodigals come home now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we'll praise you while we wait. We'll praise you while we wait. We'll worship while we wait. Because we know that it's all.
about to do a thing in here. We bless you, Lord. said in 2 Corinthians 2 1 he said I purpose that I would not come to you again in heaviness what had happened is in 1 Corinthians he had to truly correct the people because there was so much errancy in how they were behaving and it had created a season of heaviness and the enemy would, had tried to use that against that church and tried to destroy the people but somehow God came and that church was revived and Paul said, I purposed in my heart, now I'm not going to come to you with heaviness. And what I see, one of the strategies of the enemy has been in the last uh, 42 months or so, is a spirit of perpetual heaviness that would rest on people. It is a heaviness that is hard to describe. It's a heaviness that sits on you. It's a heaviness that you can literally feel. And the Lord said, I'm about to remove that spirit of heaviness. <laughs> Revival breaks heaviness. Revival, heaviness cannot stay on you when you rise in revival. So God said, I am going to break heaviness, that perpetual heaviness that has sat on you for so long, you've grown comfortable with it. You've grown accustomed to it. God said, I'm about to lift that off of you. And I'm about to bring a joy that's going to make you feel light as a feather. That heaviness is being lifted right now. If you've been in a time where you feel like you've been walking in per a perpetual heaviness, let's be honest. I want you to come here right now. I want you to come here right now. Say, Apostle, I've been walking in perpetual heaviness. Come on and help me, folks. Come on, let's just worship. Let's just, let's just honor the Lord. Come on, come on. I want you to bring them right up here on the stage. Come on. This is about to get real. Hallelujah. This is about to get real. Sha na 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 my worthy you were worthy you are worthy you will be forever Yahweh worthy you worthy you are worthy you wow. will be forever wow. Yahweh. I didn't even realize there'd be this many. 
been seasons where you felt almost invisible where you felt like nobody even knows the magnitude of what I'm facing and you feel like you have been fighting alone right and you strive and you have moments where you feel like you have joy and just as soon as you feel joy that heaviness gets right back on you and it's caused you to think thoughts you would have never thought before. It's caused you to think things you would have never thought before because you've said to yourself, somehow it's got to be better than this. Anything is better than this heaviness. Is that right? What's your name? Stacy, raise up your hands. The Lord said tonight he is breaking off perpetual heaviness from you. <laughs> Not only is he breaking heaviness off of you, when he breaks that heaviness off of you, all the hopelessness, that that hope that you've lost, God said, I'm about to restore your hope. The Lord said, you're going to laugh again. You're going to laugh from deep down inside because there is unparalleled joy coming to Stacy. I don't usually don't do this, but I feel this. I'm going to blow it right off of you. I just, I blow it off of you. I blow it off of you. And I release joy. Joy in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray for everybody, but I just feel this couple. I, I saw you coming up. Raise up your hands. You know what is amazing about you is that you've been faithful right through tears that you've kept worshiping you've kept praising you've kept giving you've kept serving and nobody knew when you were home what you were dealing with people closest to you didn't even know what you were dealing with but the Lord said tonight is your night Oh, he's going to remind you of how good he is. He's going to remind you of how faithful he is. And some of the, oh, God, yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Some of the, yeah, God, the, <laughs> the joy is already coming. The joy, she's putting on a garment of praise. I didn't even lay hands on it and it broke right there. Somebody ought to give the Lord a praise. Right here, son, help her up. Yeah, I'm so glad about it. Come here, honey. Raise up your hand. You know what I see in you? I see tenacity. I, I see tenaciousness. A lot of people would have given up if they'd have been through what you've been through. A lot of people would have quit. But quit is not in your vocabulary. You are not a quitter. You have overcome so many obstacles. You have overcome so many obstacles. You are a standing, walking, talking, living, breathing miracle. And, and the enemy has tried to put heaviness on you, daughter, because he's wanted you not to realize how good God has been to you. 
And the Lord said, Haven't I brought you through? And the Lord said, Haven't I made a way? And the Lord said, Haven't I blessed you again and again beyond what you thought you would ever be blessed? And the Lord said, Haven't I turned it around over and over again? The Lord said, Tonight the heaviness is not just lifting, it's broken. And you're going to have joy like you've never had joy before. I speak it over you, daughter. Health and joy and become a yatai. Come on, we about to lay hands on the whole house, but I feel this. I feel like God's getting a little bit of glory. Come here, daughter. I want you to raise up your hands. I know you look at you radically saved look at the turnaround God did in your life look at how far he brought you the enemy was deceiving you the devil had you literally in a chokehold and thought he would have you forever and now you've started making your way out. You've started coming out, but here's the next step. The next step for you is joy. The Lord said, don't you dare look back in regret. Don't look back at where you were, what you were, and what you did, because now you are a new creation. You are a brand new woman, and now you are a woman of God. You are a woman of purpose. You are a woman of power. Everything attached to you will be blessed. Everything attached to you will break through. I bind every scheme of the enemy that came against you. And I tell you, devil, you're lost. You're lost. You're lost. She's not reading tarot cards anymore. She's reading the B-I-B-L-E. Hallelujah. And I release now joy. Somebody give the Lord a praise. No, I need somebody to break out of praise. Joy in the room. Joy in the room. Joy in the room. Joy in the room. Joy in your house. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yemama, Shemanai. Shinanai, Yedanai. Oh, mighty God, give me this lady right here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So raise up your hands. You were looking over there and said, I wonder if he's going to call me out. Well, welcome. God said he had this assignment, he had this appointment for you. He had put this in place. Tonight it shifts. Tonight you make a turn. Tonight it straightens out. Hallelujah. You're not a victim. You're not going to be full of anxiety. You're not going to be worried about other people. God's going to give you a supernatural peace. Daughter, I break all heaviness off of you right now. I break all heaviness off of you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not going to leave here in heaviness. But you're going to walk out of here with joy. Are you ready? I release it over you, daughter. I remorse. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Come on, John, just sing. Y'all move through and lay hands on some people now. Let's do it. Go, Christian. Worthy, worthy.
There's a glory on you. And that's why the enemy, this is Pastor Jennifer's daughter. That is why the enemy has come against you. But you have, you have got it written on your shirt, I love Jesus. And you just don't have it on your shirt, you got it in your heart. So I decree and declare that you are mighty in the Lord. I decree and declare that you are not just a worshiper, you are a worship leader. I declare that you will shift things in your generation. I declare over you, daughter of God, that there is a glory that rides on you. There is an anointing that rides on you. And the heaviness has been the attack of the enemy that's tried to hold you from your purpose. But the Bible said, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So you are not going to walk another moment in anxiety. You're not bound by any of your friends. You're not bound by what they think. You're not bound by their opinions. You are a, you, 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 you are one who does not follow the crowd. The Lord said, you are a leader. The Lord said, you walk out front. So daughter, I bind all worry. I bind heaviness off of you and I release glory and I declare a new anointing is coming on you. A yoke breaking, burden lifting, yoke destroying anointing. I release it over you daughter in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say healing is here. Healing, 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 
right here. Raise your hands, darling. The Lord said to tell you, you're not just raising your own children, you're raising arrows. That your children are like arrows, that they're going to be shot and they're going to be used by God. He said, I've even begun to deal with your son about ministry at his young age. But the Lord said, not only are you raising up your own children as arrows, the Lord said, now I put you in a place and put you in a position where you're not just providing child care. You do a whole lot more than babysit children. The Lord said, that's not what you're called to do. The Lord said, in the nurseries, you have a strategy for them to encounter the glory of the Lord. The Lord said, when you, that even, in, even the newborns, even the toddlers are experiencing the glory of the Lord because that's your strategy. And the Lord said that you're not going to raise up other people's children to be mighty and your own children not be mighty. The Lord said that you are walking now into a new glory and a new anointing. And the fight that you have been in has been the enemy resisting not where you were, but where you're going. The Lord said this is a time when you are going to step in a power and a clarity like you have never known. You're going to understand more than you've ever understood the journey that you have been on. And the Lord said all this time that the enemy was attacking you I've been strengthening you and I've been preparing you and the Lord said now you are more dangerous than you have ever been the Lord said the glory on you is more strong than it has ever been and the Lord said you will raise up evangelists you will raise up prophets you will raise up missionaries you will raise up pastors you will raise up apostles you will raise up teachers you will raise up young people mighty in the Lord. The Lord said it's going to go from generation to generation. The Lord said you were in this house. The Lord said you were in this children's church. The Lord said you were a child in this church. And he said now your children are children in this church. And said now, now, now there's a new thing that God is doing. I release it over you, God. Cut the shot. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Shana, I need somebody to open up your mouth. And let's take some time. Come on, John, and worship the Lord.
up here, Sean. You, get up here. You know what I see on you, son? Fire. I see Holy Ghost radical on a shame straight ahead. I'm all in, Jesus. I want you to use me. I want you more than anything else. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I don't perform my praise. God said he looks for young men like you. God said these are the men that he's raising up. God said these are the men that he is anointing. So Sean, in the mighty name of Jesus, here's what I call over you. Fire! Come on, God is releasing something new. doctor's reports I'm supernaturally reversing doctor's reports the Lord said I'm gonna change things in that same way that 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 baby we played the video John where you at last Sunday night I think it was I held a little baby and we prayed for a little baby that had uh, kidney issues and in that moment that I was praying for that baby to be healed of kidney issues, the Spirit of the Lord came on me, and I sent healing to Nick units across America. I just said, God is healing babies right now. Unbeknownst to me, he, Pastor John, got a call, and there was a baby that had been in the Nick unit for 19 days. I want you to tell us that story real quick. So the baby was 19 days old, and the doctor said that there was something wrong with his gland and that he would be on steroids for the rest of his life. And we found that out the night we were praying. 12 hours later, I got a text message in the morning saying that that baby has their levels regulated and they were being sent home that very day. So what was a threat of the enemy, 12 hours later, God supernaturally reversed it, sent the baby home, and now the baby's back with his mother. So I don't care what the doctor's reports have to say. Jesus has the final say. I don't care what they say. The Bible has the final say. I don't know what you're dealing with today, but King Jesus is enough for you today. If you need a healing touch today, he's able to do it exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask for things. So, so right now, if you need a doctor's report to change, get right, get up here right now. I'm just going to get an agreement. I'm moving in faith right now. Revival man, raise your hands. Revival man, I bind cancer and I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. It's gone before and, and, and tried to come back. But I tell it, go and stay gone this time. Go and stay gone. Reverse it, God. Reverse it over Shirley. Yeah, no, no. Come on, daughter. Reverse right now. Reverse. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Reverse. Reverse. Shetanabo Shatai. Reverse. Shetanabo Shatai. Shetanabo. I feel it. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. Reverse in the name of Jesus. It's reversing. It's reversing. It's reversing. It's reversing. Robert, in the name of Jesus. Shetanabo. It's reversing. It's reversing. It's reversing. 
Come here, daughter. You're, oh, yeah. This is my friend. This is my chiropractic friend. Right? Yeah. Me and you follow each other on Instagram. It's reversing. Hey, in the name of Jesus. It's got to reverse. She come on my higher. It's got to reverse. And go reverse. It's backing up. It's backing up. Reverse. She got a shot. God's doing it right now. Christian, go lay hands on those over there. She na 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 mahaya. So right here, come on, daughter. precious lady in our church about someone who's in the hospital facing cancer, brain cancer. I said, every time that I've gone live, there's been somebody in a hospital somewhere that has said, I'm watching you from my hospital bed. So I believe tonight there may be people watching from a hospital bed. Do you believe that there's, there's any distance with the Lord? Do you believe that we can pray right here? And God can go to Chicago and raise a baby yes. up? Can, can he go wherever people are? Oh, I need some faith people to respond right now. Do you believe that God can go right into a hospital room? So I want you to get your faith to another level. Come on, let's pray, babe. There's a precious woman named Tammy, and her brother-in-law, his name is Euless, E-U-L-E-S-S. Euless has a brain tumor. They're saying that it is the size of an eyeball right behind his eye. Tammy used to be a part of our church, but she lives in another state now. But she texted me today because she said, I need some people that believe that nothing is impossible for God to agree with me in prayer for my brother-in-law. She said three family members of his have died of brain cancer. So we are not only coming against brain tumors, but against generational spirits in the name of Jesus for you less. Do I have some people that believes nothing is too hard for God? Brain tumors are not too hard for God. He can dissolve it in a second, and that's what I believe for tonight. So will you stretch your hands? out tonight and let's believe God. Father, we lift up you list right now. Father God, even as Tammy is watching and she is releasing her faith in this house of faith, Lord God, we lift you list up before you tonight, God, and we curse this sickness, this tumor in the name of Jesus. Devil, demonic spirit, a brain tumor, loose your hold off of his body in the name of Jesus. We break this generation.
original spirit, by the blood of the Lamb, we declare the finished work of Christ on the cross over you, listen, over the remaining descendants in his family, that brain tumors will no longer live, the healing virtue will every spirit of self-harm this cutting this suicide we need to bind it off of our children come on i need radical people to bind it off of a generation and let hell know off limits you can't touch our children you can't afflict their mind devil you can't bring against them those thoughts anymore we break it pray right now uh, before, before we do before we do before we do we were sitting there before apostle came up Holy Spirit began to speak to me out of Luke chapter 4 and the Bible says that the anointing Jesus said the anointing is upon me right to set at liberty those who are oppressed and I know that apostle called a group of people up here that may have felt heavy but the Spirit of God spoke to me and said that there is someone in this room that you are not heavy you are oppressed you're not possessed you are oppressed and you you may know if you are oppressed because your spirit, your inner man, feels stuffy. It feels heavy. It feels like it's turning inward inside of you. You can't praise the Lord. You can't bless the Lord. You can't sense the spirit of the Lord. You can't hear the voice of the Lord. Here's what I want to do. I want everyone in this room to just close your, close your eyes, bow your heads. There's a certain way I feel like the Lord wants to minister to this. And I specifically feel like you were in, the, I'm going to get bold, but I specifically feel like you're in this section right here in front of the sound booth. In front of the sound booth. If you are, would you just wave at me with heads bowed and eyes closed if that's you? Would you wave, wave at me? Be so bold. Listen, this is your moment. Where are you? By the sound booth. Where are you? I feel like you're in this section right here. Yeah? Come here. Come here, right here. No, 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 right here. My guy in the, in the Florida, it's you. But listen, we have to obey exactly what the Spirit of God says to do. We have to be right in step with what he's saying. This is your moment, man. Come here, stand right here. Stretch your hands towards our brother right here. Come on, can we pray in the spirit? Pray in the spirit. Zach, the Holy Spirit is about to come and set your inner man free. The Bible says that the Lord is the spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. This is not going to be by anything we do, but this is going to be by the Holy Spirit. He's about to come and liberate you. You feel the presence of the Lord on you right now. 
want you to close your eyes. Lift your hands high towards heaven, man. Come on, can we just lift our voices and pray in the spirit? You're not going to take your own life, man. You're not going to take your own life. God saved you not too long ago. About six months ago, God saved you. And I even see by the Spirit that the moment the enemy saw you give your life to the Lord is the moment he began to plan and scheme something that you are facing right now. You are standing in the middle of a scheme that is six months old. But God is about to change it and set you free in less than six seconds. I see the hand of the Lord. He is reaching down and grabbing you by your spirit. And he is yanking you out of this place of darkness, man. He is yanking you out of this place of despair. He is pulling you out of this place where you feel like you're stuck in life and you have no sense of purpose. You feel like you have uh, no sense of direction. You have no sense of clarity. The sovereign hand, I feel the anointing flowing right now, man. The sovereign hand of the Lord is coming to grab you and to yank you out of this place of darkness and pull you into the place of his marvelous light. Oh, come on, can we pray in the spirit, y'all? Come on, pray in the spirit. This is his moment right here. This is his moment. Lord, I pray. I pray.
everything <laughs> that my soul ever longed for everything he promised and so much more more than amazing come on y'all more than marvelous more than miraculous That's what Jesus is to me. Yeah, yes, he is. I said, He's so wonderful. I said, He's so wonderful. I said, He's so wonderful. Yes, he is. So let's slip up our hands now and let's give Jesus all the glory. Lord, we declare that we are walking in this place of revival and we have not had enough. We are not saying, God, this is enough. Now we're through. We're saying, God, continue to pour your spirit out. Continue to do what you do. We're shocked every time we come together. And all the people who come out just to worship and pray and see what you're going to do. Lord, we have not an agenda, but just to follow your heart and to walk in your rhythm. We pray that over the coming services that you will do miracles and wonders, that you will save, heal, redeem, baptize, set free. God, that you will turn the entire families around. You're doing it even now. But we make this covenant with you that we will give that name of Jesus every bit of the praise and every bit of the honor. Can you do that right now? Can you do it? How many of y'all would like to do this again Sunday night? Who wants to do it with me? Make a little noise. If Apostle has it again Sunday night, if you'll come out even after Sunday morning. I don't want anybody to leave for just a moment. I want to say this. You know, our Sunday mornings have been indescribable. Our crowds have been absolutely massive. But next Sunday night, we're going to, I want to set out the baptismal tanks again. We've got buses coming in next Sunday night from across the state. I just got a, uh, an inbox from a guy from Zephyr Hills. He said, we're, we're chartering a bus and every single seat is full. So how many of you know that this revival is not going to be contained right here? But here's what I know. I always want to give you a chance to sow into what God is doing. I have never once regretted anything that I've given to God, especially in times like this. Don't I want us to give tonight? We've given each night, but I just feel such a prompting in my spirit that God wants to unlock heaven in your life in a financial sense. And there are times when what moves God to bless you 
is your faithfulness in giving. Giving can never buy God. You can't buy El Shaddai. But what giving does is giving moves God. When you put your resources and you join them to what God is doing, we've opened these buildings several nights uh, beyond what is normal for us. And every night people have come out. We've live streamed literally around the world. And as you give, you're going to enable us to continue this revival. How many of you think this revival needs to continue? This move of God needs to continue. I, I believe it with all my heart. I want our ushers just to place buckets right here in the front. This is the way I've been doing it. And uh, I just sense in my spirit that people online, you want to give and sow into this moment. Some of you may be even watching this after the fact, and I want you to give and sow right now. And I believe as you give and you sow into God's agenda, that God will partner with you in the things that you need him to do. Is there anybody here that has seen the Lord bless your life? If that's you, give him praise. So if you're going to give tonight, I want you to hold that offering up. If you're going to give on your phone, I want you to hold your phone up, however you're going to give. You by live stream, you can give online, you can text to give, you can give in an envelope, or you can give in an app. If you'll mark it special, everything that comes in is going to help us finance this revival and all that God is doing. I'm praying very hard about next week. I'm feeling like next week we might have us a Friday night fire night. How about that? And we just bring people in from across this region. I want whatever God wants. How many of you want whatever God wants in this season? All right, hold those offerings up, precious. I love you so much. You. You just don't know how honored I am to be the apostle of all this and to have people linked to my heart that so desire the presence and power and revival of the Lord. I'm grateful for you. Hold that up and let me pray over you. I pray over everyone tonight, those that are giving and maybe those that don't have the resources to give, but God, they're doing in their heart. They want to give, and I pray that you would bless them in a way where the next time they'll be able to. But God, for those who are sowing tonight, they're sowing into revival. They're sowing into what you're doing. They're by live stream. They're sowing into this moment. And I pray, God, as they give, that you will unlock financial favor in their lives. I pray, Lord, that you will cause them to walk in the abundance of the Lord. I give you praise. And, Lord, we thank you. We just thank you. We just thank you. We just thank you for revival. We thank you for the fair, fresh wind that's blowing in our church, not just in our church, but so many churches across America. Thank you that you're doing it on college campuses. Thank you that you're getting it outside the four walls. We give you glory in Jesus' name. I love you so much. If you want to bring that offering, you bring it. Pastor John's going to sing with us. And I want you just to raise up your hands. Let me bless you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. That the next time we come together, we come, if we don't come together here, we'll come together in heaven. Come on, somebody, the rapture. But in Jesus' name, I bless you as you go tonight. And I thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on, let's give to God. Sing, John. 